uh, people would come over and I didn't have like food to offer them. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimberly Louise and I make faith, homemaking, and lifestyle content here on YouTube. You've stumbled across the homemaking portion of my channel and today we're going to get into cleaning and organizing this pantry. Let me show y'all what it looked like. All right, so y'all know the first thing, I'm getting right into it. I'm not even wasting time. The first thing we got to do is take everything out and that's probably the worst part but we're gonna get into it let's go I'm undone, unraveling my plans Make me whole again, rebuild me from the inside out In a way only you know how You're teaching me Reaching me when I run the other direction. I'm undone, unraveling my plans. Make me whole again, rebuild me from the inside. everything that came out of my pantry for this pantry to be so small this is just proof of how incredibly blessed and fortunate we are to have all of these items sometimes you really have to think about how blessed you are when you're doing a task like this that can seem taxing I'm organizing a pantry with food when I know that there are some people who can't say the same because they don't have the things that I have. And so I'm just, I had to stop for a second and just think about how grateful and how blessed I am. And because I can remember when I lived back in the day when I lived by myself, uh, people would come over and I didn't have like food to offer them or like something to give them or a snack, a drink. And so God is just so faithful in that. He just redeems the time. And so people come over, there's always something for me to offer them. And I feel so blessed to be able to always just give back in that way. So now that everything's out and I've kind of cleaned out the pantry, I'm gonna go through and see if there's anything expired in this batch. I don't think there is just because I do try to keep a a handle on that but it's no telling so let's see Send me free, God. Send me free, God. y'all these are so good <laughs> they're only three grams of sugar for the whole little pack and they remind me they remind you of sour patch kids is my hair all over the place probably but they remind you of sour patch kids they're so good i got them off of amazon but they sell them at target I've seen them at Target. I think I've seen them at the Dollar Tree a while ago. So, yeah. Oh, 
A lot of this stuff we keep in another room, so let me go put these up. Expired, y'all. I ended up opening this. I think I opened it once. All right, y'all, so I think so far so good. I've thrown away a few things and now it's time to put it back in there. We don't like these, but I did use them to make those brownies I told y'all about and they were actually pretty good, but this expired June, was well, his Best Buy, June 6, 2024. So if it's Best Buy, that means it's still not bad. I mean, June wasn't that long ago. I'm gonna keep them. So let's figure out how we want to organize this. Um, of course, I have. Let me show y'all. Have my um, water and stuff. I always keep that down on the bottom. And then like it, boxes of stuff. I have my coconut oil over there. Um, my bonza noodles. I don't really like them because they they don't cook right. Like that's why I like the Barilla ones. But I just hate throwing stuff away. Uh, let's see. Maybe they are expired and I gotta throw them away. Let's see. Definitely not. <laughs> so I gotta keep these. I told y'all about this a long time ago, but I don't really like it. It don't expire to the end of the year, so I'm gonna still keep it. I might make a bread like y'all told me a long time ago. Y'all, I still ain't did it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. How do we want to organize this? So before I had like, like my um, stuff in containers, like up at the top two rows, but it started to just get junky and messy as the days went by. Also y'all, this jumpsuit came from Target. I got it on clearance. What y'all think? I think it's cute. It's so comfortable. I feel like I'm in a onesie, like a big, a big baby. <laughs> I also have like empty containers like this that I could use for some stuff. Maybe I should fill up because these are clean. Like I clean these. So maybe I should put, let me show you. So I have um, this empty almond flour that I wrote almond flour on and I got some almond flour right here. So I think I'm gonna fill that up. And then I have a thing for the almonds that I'm gonna put those in. So that'll clear up some space. So let's go, let's get it done. And then I have like these, I used to keep them on our door, but the thing broke off the door. So now I just use the door for um, our ap my aprons. And it was this thing right here that I kind of kept these in on the door and they fit perfectly. So now I need to find a space for them because the little things that were on the back of this broke off. So anyway, we'll figure that out. Oh y'all, also it's wash day, but I have, I'm not washing my hair until tomorrow. Hubby's gonna get me some coffee. I haven't had coffee in months and months and months and months and months. Yes. Cause I'm tired. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. He's giving me a half calf though. I'm not gonna go all caffeine. We are gonna see how I can handle that. So hopefully It'll be okay. I actually only keep decaf in the house and I'm so sleepy and it's date night tonight and I just want to have energy. <laughs> so I'm just tired. Like I just need to get this done. If I get this done, I feel, I'll feel so much better. So let me stop yapping and, and get, get it done. All right. So I have this right here and I'm going to just put it in here. Y'all see? little bit left in here this smells so good there is an almond brownie recipe on the back of this do i have everything i do it smells so good like it smells like i don't know it smell like almonds but it's just almonds in here 
I don't know. I think I'm gonna make some brownies with this instead of like putting this in here. I might make us a brownies for date night. We'll see. <laughs> Let's move this over here. Then I have these. I'm gonna put these in here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put my nuts up at the top. So we have almonds, we have pecans. They don't have a name on them, but I have like a few cashews. My husband loves these. That means I need to stock up on some more. Of course, we always keep oatmeal in the house. So we're gonna just put back up there. Put the grits over here. How does that look? Cause then I can see what we have. Maybe I can put like my powdered things on this row. So this is on. Um, also have um, chia seeds. Oh, these can go up there. All of the healthy stuff is up at the top. I should have put the little name tags on the side because I feel like this looks better. What y'all think? Let me know down in the comments. Like I have this peanut butter powder. Is this expired? No. This is so good if you don't want to like buy your peanut butter already made, which we use this all the time. But sometimes when I just don't want any, I don't think this has, this is palm, palm, coconut, palm sugar, peanut flour, and salt in here. But this is just really good to have on hand. Like, you want to make your own peanut butter. It's just water. Just mix a little water with it. So my goal for the pantry is to kind of have like the healthier items sort of at the top so that we can see them and we can be like, okay, <laughs> here's what we have. And then the not so healthy items at the bottom. I have this, these little cacao nibs. These are so good, y'all. Like I gotta stay away from them because of the caffeine, but I think this little container will be perfect for them. So I'm gonna put these in here. Perfect. And I got these, these containers like this from Costco in a pack. So here is another one. I also have um, this uh, monk fruit sweetener. I'm gonna put my sunflower, not sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds in this thing. So let's do that. These are so good just to eat. They're kind of like sunflower seeds, but I actually prefer pumpkin seeds. It's just nice to see your stuff. All right, I think that's all I have to put in containers. I feel like this would be nice up, up at the top. All my healthy items up at the top. Chia seeds, almonds, um, pecans, no, walnuts, pecans, cashews, pumpkin seeds, oatmeal. Grits aren't the healthiest, but we do eat them every now and then. Maybe bread flour should go. I rarely make bread. Put that there, because I still have regular flour over there. More powder sugar, I don't even use. <laughs> I don't know why I have this much. I don't know. But we'll put this in the back. Actually, I'll put that at the bottom. Put that at the bottom. Still have extra chocolate chips, so all the extra stuff I'll keep at the bottom. These are actually pretty healthy crackers. I just don't like that they're in a bag and I'm out of containers. I'll have to figure that out. And then I have, we love, I love these because they're tomato based. I can't eat them, but I gotta, I haven't seen them because my pantry has been so unorganized. So I wanna put them so that we can see them and I can make them for hubby. We have a place here called Eliano's. It's so good. This is my first time having half calf. Let's pray it don't hurt me. 
Lord, thank you for this coffee. You made the coffee beans. May it not harm you in Jesus' name. Amen. That's good. You didn't get sugar-free syrup, did you? That's why that's so good. My bad. That's good. Thank you, honey. I don't know. How do we feel? How do we feel? All right. So, I was thinking to put like some of the containers in here so that I can maximize my space. Let's see. Cause I feel like it was just looking kind of, maybe I can do that. I have a few of these, so maybe I can maximize how I'm using the space. like some of my like vanilla and different things like that in here like extra stuff so like chocolate chips put those back there and like regular chocolate chips put those back there So that helps me to max up. That's helping me maximize some of the seeds that I have. Think of some of our like condiment like stuff. Like little mixes. What I want to do this time to start putting limits on your promises. Broken but y'all so i y'all saw me i just moved to try to make more room at the top i can still see a lot of the things that i have like this is kind of my nut where i keep all the nuts at and then like there's some nuts in here there's pumpkin seeds chia seeds like kind of the seeds but there are some cashews back there because it wasn't that many and then like this is like cocoa powder chocolate chips cacao nibs almond flour oatmeal and then i have um i moved I'm trying to figure this out because I'm like, mm, I feel like it makes sense to put condiments up here. So I have another one of these things. Let me just wipe it out real quick. Oh, I also, child, when you, when you have so much stuff, let me show you. I found these containers so I can put the remaining almond flour in here um, i'm probably not gonna have time to bake today that it is what it is show y'all the final look of my pantry. I am so happy that this is done. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember that God is God and we are not. So we're going to trust him and we're going to let him do his thing. See y'all next time. Bye.